let's talk about the system requirements for doing the hands-on exercises in this course. One option that you have as we go through the course is that you could just watch, and that's certainly an option. However, another option, and one that I would encourage you to do, is to do the hands-on exercises with me. If you'd like to do that, let's go through what's needed. We're gonna need a 64-bit operating system, so you can use a Macintosh, Windows, or Linux machine. It just needs to be a 64-bit operating system. You're gonna need a machine that has eight gigabytes or more of RAM. You're going to need 30 gigabytes or more of free hard drive space. The reason that we need a lot of RAM and a lot of free hard drive space is because we're gonna be working with virtual machine images. In order to create our cluster of four nodes, we're gonna be using four virtual machines. Each virtual machine is going to have 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and each one is gonna take up about seven gigabytes of space on our computer. Hence, the requirements we have listed here. One more thing that we're gonna also need because we're working with virtual machine images, which were created with VMware, is that we're gonna need the free VMware player installed and set up on the computer as well. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and look at this from the point of view of if you're using a Macintosh, then we'll do Windows, and then we'll do Linux. Depending on which operating system you're using, feel free to jump ahead in this video. On the Macintosh, if you happen to be using a Mac, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the Apple menu and you're gonna choose About This Mac. When you do that, a window's gonna open up and in here, you're going to look to see what the processor is. Then you're going to check the processor against this chart here to make sure that that processor is a 64-bit one. Next to check to see how much RAM there is and make sure there's at least eight gigabytes, we're gonna also be in that window about this Mac and we're gonna look at the amount of memory. This is one with eight gigabytes of memory. And then to check to see how much hard drive space there is on the Mac, you're going to select your Macintosh hard drive and then from the file menu, choose get info. That's gonna open up this window over here on the right and in here, we can see how much space is available. So in the case of this computer, there's 46 gigabytes available. And then the last thing we need to do on the Mac is we need to have the equivalent of VMware player. VMware doesn't actually create a VMware player for the Macintosh. It just doesn't exist. But what you can do is that you use VMware Fusion. VMware Fusion is VMware software for the Macintosh, and you can get it either as a 30-day trial or you can purchase it. If you're working with a Windows computer, what we'll do is first we want to check to make sure it's got a 64-bit operating system. It kind of varies exactly where to go to find these things depending on the Windows operating system, but basically you want to locate My Computer, which you would generally find in Windows Explorer, so you're gonna right click on my computer and select properties. And once you do that, you can see the system type. And here, as you see in the screenshot, we see that it's 64-bit operating system. Next, we wanna make sure that we have at least eight gigabytes of memory on our Windows computer. Also, this was under right clicking on my computer and selecting properties. Here we can see that under installed memory, RAM, we have 16 gigabytes, that's plenty. Next, we wanna check that we have at least 30 gigabytes or more free hard drive space. We can do that on our Windows computer by right-clicking on C and selecting properties. And then we can see the amount of free space we have on the drive. And in this case, it tells me I have 32.9 gigabytes of free hard drive space. Lastly, for the Windows operating system, we need to get the VMware player. This is free to download. You can get it from vmware.com and you're simply going to go here, get the player, 
click on the download button to download the installer and then double click on it and follow the next button prompts to go ahead and install VMware Player. If you're using a Linux computer and you need to check to make sure that it's 64 bit, you can open up a terminal window and you can run the command get conf space long underscore bit. If you have a 64 bit machine, then it's going to go ahead and display 64. Next, on our Linux computer, we want to check to see that there's at least eight gigabytes or more of RAM. And to do that, we can run the command top in a terminal window, and it'll then display the amount of memory that we have. In this case, you can see that this particular machine just has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, and certainly that wouldn't be enough for our exercises. We need to use a machine that's got at least eight gigabytes of memory. Next, let's check to make sure that our Linux machine has at least 30 gigabytes of free hard drive space. So to do that, we can run a command in a terminal window, and that command is going to be df space hyphen h. And once we do that, we can see how much hard drive space is available. In this case, you can see that the machine I'm using at the moment only has 14 gigabytes of free hard drive space, which is not going to be enough for completing all the exercises in the course. So we would want to look to free up some space or use a different computer. Finally, for our Linux machine, we're going to need the VMware player. And this is free to download from VMware.com.